we really value our uh, own properties, which is essentially southwest.com and blogsouthwest.com. Uh, blogsouthwest.com is where we tell our customer stories, have contests, any, uh, any other crisis uh, communication, if there's operational things going on around the system. Uh, that's our hub. That's really our anchor uh, when, we, when we try and uh, do this corporate newsroom and build this uh, idea of brand journalism. It's very important to us to have an anchor for all our content will live uh, so that you know, retro properties like Twitter and Facebook and insert social media space here, if, they ever, if something ever happens to them uh, and our content gets lost or they shut down entirely, then we have a block. We have our stuff. So, uh, not only that, but aggregating all the assets such in one area is huge for us. Um, then being able to cherry pick the assets within that blog post uh, to cater to our specific channels is huge because we're giving them a slice, and we're giving our customers a slice of given uh, social media spaces, but then they can go back with the link and get a more comprehensive look. We had the show Airline. It was a uh, reality television show that we had to get senior level buy-in, I mean, straight from the CEO, and it was Ron Kelleher at the time. Uh, he basically said, yeah, let's do it. Well, I, uh, the premise of the show is just showing behind the scenes of it, uh, what goes on in the airport. Or when it was on the air, the, the applications, the number of job applications spiked each, each day. Each day a new episode aired, like the next day, skyrocketing resumes. Um, and we were telling all these awesome stories. Well, it lasted two seasons once it was off the air. Uh, we didn't have that uh, engagement, that humanization of our brand, that connection with our customer uh, to show them the raw, behind the scenes uh, content. So that was uh, the birth of Nuts About Southwest. And essentially, from there, uh, it was a natural buy in because we saw so much success and it was really like, oh, oh no, what do we do? We've, we've lost it. How do we get it back? Blogs are, you know, having a little bit of a, of a renaissance mm -hmm. coming back, and um, so we turned to the blog, and it was a huge success. So now everything that's come after has been a lot easier. Uh, as far as advice is concerned, it really is it really is dividing and conquering, You're identifying who is going to be the stalwart for your uh, advocacy for your channels, um, and really letting them own it, letting them be the driver.